Hi guys, welcome back to another boozy unbagging with Thomas. Today I shall be quenching my ever perishing thirst with some Di Serono Amaretto Originale. I know it's a guilty pleasure, but you know, it's a pleasure nonetheless. Cheers, guys. Ah, delicious. So, this is the second offering from Epo Maker, who also sent in um, this keyboard that I unbagged recently. Or I think I actually unboxed that one. Anyway, it doesn't matter. And now they've got something, um, let's say, related that they sent in. So, let's cut this little piggy open and see what secrets she holds. Somehow it's never quite as satisfying unbagging a keyboard as it is unboxing. Oh well. So, there you go. Right, get rid of this. <laughs> Sorry if the bag is making a lot of noise in the microphone, but uh, I guess it's not to be helped. Let's roly-poly this out of all this bubble wrap. And there you go. And now I'm going to have to guess how to pronounce this. It is the... <laughs> Sky Loom or Sky Long? I think it might be. Jesus, that's fucking difficult to show on camera. It says Sky Loom, but I don't know. Maybe it's long. Maybe it's because it's. What is it? Long. Sometimes spelled with two O's. I think is Dragon in Chinese. But maybe it's something completely different. Anyway, this is what happens when you. Uh, bag a keyboard rather than boxing it. As you can see, the uh, outer <laughs> outer box sustained some damage. Hopefully, this doesn't translate to what's inside. Oh, look at this corner here. That's banged up really bad. But thankfully, the box is not broken anywhere. So let's hope the keyboard isn't either. Ah. Okay, right, a very condensed manual. Yeah, which I might need in a second. We'll get to that in a bit. Some spare keycaps. Double shots. Yep, double shots, then some, ooh. Some stabilizers, some switches. I don't know if these are the ones that are already on the keyboard. Maybe it says it says on it, but they look like this. Which again probably means blueberry, strawberry, ice cream or something. For some reason, half the switches are named after ice cream or or candy. I did <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what that's about. Um, sometimes they indicate the switch type on the box of the keyboard. Yeah, maybe it's that. No, there is absolutely fuck all I can do with that. That just says that. That might work for some of the Chinese viewers. But unfortunately, it doesn't for me. Uh, USB cable. So I'm I'm currently completely in the dark as to what these are. Uh, I think it's trying to be tactile, but I couldn't tell you. Anyway, a very standard switch and wire puller. That's okay. I've got so many of them by now, but it's nice that they include it. A piece of. Plastic, go away. Mm -hmm. Think that's some. Yeah, that's a adapter for 
USB A to USB C. USB A, USB C. Interesting. I'm not sure I've seen this particular design before. It looks like just a little rectangle with nothing sticking out. It's also both female. Yeah, it's both female. So how can you plug it in then? I guess you need another cable of some sort. Also this, which looks like little stick on feet. Uh, let me see if I can get that out for you. Or is that, no, that's port covers, I think. Or is that feet? That's. It looks a bit like the sort of stuff that you stick on the outside of connectors, you know, to protect them. But I don't know if that's the case here. No, I don't think so. And I have no idea what this thing is. Maybe they are feet. And you're supposed to stick them on. It would be a bit weird to have port protectors, but not have them on by default anyway. So well, maybe it's something else. In any case, let's get rid of this box so that we may get to the pièce de résistance. Here you go. There she is, the Skylung GK104 Pro. Off the top of my head. Nice. <laughs> and uh, you can see the studio light reflecting off of what was probably its prime feature, a little uh, screen here, and there's another screen in here. See that? Nice. So, like I said, the other keyboard I showed here has a big dot matrix display here. And this has a small one, which I think you can take out off the top of my head. Can you take it out or swap it? For, ooh, Jesus Christ. Or swap it for... No, it does not want to budge. I could swear that you could take it out and swap it for something or whatever. I, But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. It seems pretty secure in there, so I'm not going to force it. Anyway, it has the same gradient of black to... Um, well, white's maybe in excess, but let's say a, a 50 shades of gray gradient as the other keyboard has. And I think it has the, yeah, it also has the same front printed legend. So I'm just going to go ahead and assume they're the same keycaps. And they've got three, not no less than three of these knobs on front of the, the small monitor, so monitor screen here that do I don't know what they do. <laughs> they look kind of cool though. Not sure whether it's actually, yeah, I think they're actual metal as well. Huh. Well, uh, let's see what's on the back. Skyloom.vip. Three model USB keyboard made in China. Okay. And uh, a power switch in the ports, and I guess I'll oh, and a an on off switch, and I guess I'll light it up. And uh, oh, wait, <laughs> I have discovered a little secret. Okay, so this comes off. This is some sort of metal thing, it's magnetized to the board, but it comes off. So, is this a tool? A tool of some description? I have no idea what this does. Or why it's loose. <sighs> Honestly, I would not know. Anyway, let's uh, connect this up and see how she rolls. All right, let's see. What happens when I plug this in? Oh, screen comes to life, so it's showing you the time, which is not quite correct. And man, I do not know how to describe this. Let me 
smooth. Show this to you without hopefully pulling the cord. So you can see the screen has come to life. It's showing something. And there's also... S Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, there's also something on this display here. 24.07.17, which is ISO date format. And it is a date in the future. 82%, that must be battery power. And win, so that's probably Windows. So let's see, what did these guys do? It's it's haunted. Not a bleeding clue <laughs> what this does. Now, I think the screen is also the status indicator. I'm not quite sure. I think it says num lock is on and caps lock and scroll lock are off. Yeah, there's no way I can show you that from this far away. Why does it make a noise whenever I press a key? Okay, let's fire up a, uh, a keyboard utility to see if it's actually transmitting something. Yeah, it is. Okay, so it's registering key presses, but this noise is clearly... Well, I don't know if it's intended or not, but let's say shut the fuck up. <laughs> um... Backlight brightness, one click call Siri for Mac because there's a whole bunch of uh, shortcuts and whatnot on this. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I see. So the on and off switch here, it says, when the switch turns zero, the digital screen displays the time status, the number areas for number, you know, normal use. So that's. Um, a calendar, and when the switch turn one, the digital screen displays the calculator status. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Honestly, this is a Japanese horror film. Equals. Ah, but it doesn't say how much that is, does it? <laughs> anyway. So yeah, that's how the calculator works. That's that's nice. That's pretty cool. Um, yes. What uh, dongle? Magnetic metal sheet. That's how they describe this, but not actually what this does. Okay. Uh, screen module component. The six switches and the screen can be interchanged. Yeah, see, I was right. You can take this off. Uh, and knobs. Knob function can be modified by the driver. Standard knob settings. Sorry, I just can't hear the word knob normally anymore after I lived in the UK. Mm -mm -mm. Picture, GIF, or status display switching. So I guess you can customize the what it shows on the display, which is kind of cool. I mean, it makes sense if you have a, what looks like an OLED screen, or at least, you know, something that shows a bit more detail than just, you know, digits or even a dot matrix display. So that's cool. That is nice. It's like a mini Optimus Maximus. But where's the shut the fuck up mode? Err. Uh, Mute? No, no, maybe that's the computer. I can, well, I can try. So that's what uh, mm, mm, F ten. Okay, I, well that doesn't really do a damn thing, does it? <laughs> it feels like the the beepers on old Zenith keyboards. If you don't know the hot key to that, they make this excruciating beeping sound, especially if you keep a keep press down. Ooh, does that do it here? Oh no, it doesn't repeat. Okay. Thank God. Blah blah blah. Bluetooth man, I have fuck all idea. It must be it must be really easy to do, but <laughs> and why is it on by default? Uh charging indicator Keyboard will connect. Don't tell me there is no way to shut up the noise. 
Um, okay. Hmm. No, I don't. Okay, so one of these must be a volume indicator, right? So how about if I just turn it all the way down? It's not quiet. Eh? Well, same for that. <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Well, I'm. Yeah, I'm kind of stumped at this. It's none of these keys. Okay. Well, that's clearly just working as intended. <laughs> then. Um, well, m maybe I'll figure it out at some point, or maybe the uh, what is it? The creators can comment on how to turn this off uh, because I somehow feel like that's not normal. Uh, but anyway, this has got quite a lot of interesting features on it, including even a split space bar. If you look closely, yeah, it's difficult to see from that angle, but it has a split space bar. So yeah, I guess me and this keyboard will be uh, getting on with for a while. It sounds a day when I say it like that. Well, um, I'm I'm definitely gonna need some time to work all this out, but still, that is pretty cool. Uh, yeesh, I've been waffling on for uh, long enough now. Well, anyway, thanks guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> it was definitely fun to unbox this. You'll see it in a review down the road at some point. And for the meantime, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.